In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transfer data from one Garmin device such as a Garmin Nuvi to another Garmin device like a Garmin Montana 600. This process can be used on many of the Garmins, may it be another Garmin handheld to another Garmin handheld or a Nuvi to a Nuvi or a Nuvi to a handheld and vice versa. So the data we're going to share in this video are waypoints in the Garmin Nuvi here. If we go into where to and then saved, we've only got a couple waypoints listed. But in my Montana here, if I go into my main menu and then to my waypoint manager, I have hundreds, if not thousands, listed in here that I want to share with the Nuvi. It's actually mainly geocaches. So I could drive up to a geocache and get out of the vehicle and use the handheld. So let's learn how to send those waypoints to the Nuvi so we can find those caches a lot easier while we're driving. So let's go to a computer, may it be a PC or a Mac. I have plugged both the Garmin Montana and the Garmin Nuvi into my computer here. It's a Mac and we're going to transfer the data from one device to the other. So we're going to transfer geocaching parking waypoints from the Montana 650 over to the Nuvi. So to do so, we're going to select the Montana from the list in the top left here. So here's the Montana. And if we go down to the bottom here, it says Montana 650 Garmin. These are all the points on the internal memory. So if we scroll down, you'll see a bunch with the P beside them. Those are our parking waypoints. So I'm going to select these waypoints and install them onto the newbie. So to do so, I'm going to click on the first point and then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the parking points right here. And then I'm going to hold down shift and it's going to select all the points in the column starting at the first point we clicked on to the last point we clicked on. Now that I have these selected, I could go up to the top and I can scroll down to see the Nuvi 3590 and transfer these points over to it just by dragging them up and then dropping. It's that simple. To verify that the points are in there, just click on the device and you'll see they're all in here. We could even transfer points to our computer to store them for future use. And to do that, we can create a smart folder. So we're going to right click or sorry, a smart list, and we'll go new list. We'll just call this one test. And there's nothing in this list, as you can see down here. But if I go into the 3590 and grab all these points, I just load it onto it and then drop them onto test. Go into test, all those points are in there now. So now they're backed up on my computer just in case I misplaced my device or I need to load another device and I don't have one of the newbies or the Montanas I load the points on handy. Now let's take a look on the device just to verify that the points went in there properly. Now that the points are on the Garmin Nuvi, we could verify that they're there. So we're going to go into where to, then saved. Once in saved, I'm going to go all saved and the parking waypoints are all these ones that start with a PK. And to route to one, just select it and then select go. That was a quick introduction to transferring points from one Garmin device to another using Garmin Basecamp.